Hi, did you know that some facts about climate change in the history of the past and the present are not widely reported on the internet today? Since it is said that history repeats itself, we thought it is important to provide you with facts from independent scientists, because with knowledge comes a plan. Today we will talk about Little Ice Age. In recent history, we have already seen how people in North America, Canada, and Western Europe encountered severe climate abnormalities. The summer of 1816 never came for residents of those regions. In July, there was frost, and it snowed in August, which resulted in that year being called the summer that never happened, the year without a summer, and 1800 and frozen to death. Some scientists try to reason this phenomenon with an eruption of the Mount Tambora volcano in the Dutch East Indies in Indonesia, and others speculated that it was due to collision of the Earth with a meteorite, which spawned a nuclear winter in those parts of the planet. This event resulted in hunger and population migration. In India, the delayed summer monsoon caused late torrential rains that aggravated the spread of cholera from the region near the river Ganges in Bengal to as far as Moscow. This crisis was a serious test for people of that time. How would you overcome this climate disaster? Would you help others and solve problems peacefully? About how to stay calm and help others in difficult situations, read in the report and on the website geocenter.info. Already now we can see abnormal phenomena such as snow in the Sahara Desert, polar cold in Spain at the end of March, and heavy snowfalls in some cities of Russia, Europe, and the USA that are absolutely not peculiar for the month of May. Is nature trying to tell us something? Please like, share, and subscribe. Have you ever thought that your thoughts can influence the world around you? This phenomenon was discovered by Dr. Masaru Emoto. He discovered that our thoughts and words can change the water forming crystals. Oh, and by the way, the average human body is 60% water. So let's stop for a minute and think about the consequences our thoughts have on our body and the world. In the next program, we will take a closer look at the research of Dr. Emoto. But for now, for fun, keep track of your thoughts and share if you had more positive or negative thoughts throughout the day.